Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your mid-August 2019 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated, okay? All right, so let's get into this, Taurus. Uh, <clears throat> so we have a situation, the advice, the outcome. Then we have a card at the bottom of the deck. We'll talk about the moon. Hmm. So we know that the moon is about illusion, delusion, self-delusion, things being held back, either by way of spirit and or just a, a not knowing at this time or being held back by other people. It could be lying by omission. It could... Uh, it says that in the present, um, it says that in the present, there might be a, a challenge approaching in a significant relationship. Um, and how you deal with this challenge is going to have historical basis so it's something that you've already dealt with or something you dealt with before kind of so you need to look at the history of this challenge in your relationship maybe you do the opposite thing you don't want to repeat history so do the complete opposite that could be the advice there but it's going to have historical value here uh it could be all things just not so good or like the the can you open the can and the worms pop out you know let's see that could also be you know um, a question of mental health you could be dealing with cancer Pisces Scorpio you don't have to be there could be you could feel like you're dealing with somebody who's so different from you. You guys want the same thing. You want the same end goal. The same end game here. But so different going about it. You know. So it's. um, Yeah. Just that. The situation is the queen of cups. So very. You could be dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio. The situation is about maintaining emotional stability so not letting outside influence sway you waver waver how you feel waver your your judgment cloud you it's about some of you work in healthcare and something about other energies that come toward you you don't want them to attach to you so you're the queen of cups you kind of maintain that um, you're trying to maintain not taking on that other people's energy so emotionally stable unwavering um, you are grounded you're planted um, but the queens are about the doing so you actually you may be giving good advice receiving good advice giving good advice um, just really not trying to let other energies shake you or move you. You also could be the doing of wanting to figure out who to give your cup of romance, of love, of devotion to. Um, let's see, the advice here is the choice, right? So maybe you have a choice here with the lovers. You could be dealing with the Gemini, if not. You just have a choice. You know, and it might be over love and career. Some of you have families, new family, new baby, new something. And you got to make a choice about time, energy, and effort. Some of you it's a choice of, yeah, love and career. Somebody wants you to move somewhere. And it's like an uprooting. A complete uprooting of, of everything that you have established thus far. Uh, you may also this also may be a coming back to because the the lovers has 
that historical feel too. It's a six card, so it talks about past and it talks about analyzing systems, analyzing where where does this fit fitness um, and health. Is this healthy for for you in your life? So something comes back together, and that's exactly those are exactly the questions you have to ask and analyze. Is this healthy? Where does this fit in my life? What system is, is it a good system? Is it is it um, a negative? Is it negative? You know, si system for me. Um, is it positive? Uh, so it's maybe something returning. Um, just because something returns doesn't mean that it's meant to be like you have to force it. It it just means that you have something to learn here. Maybe some some type of karmic energy. The universe bringing something back to you so you can make a decision. Excuse me, a choice. Here. Uh, So something comes back to you, but you don't have to take to it. The divine intervention was in or is in the coming back together. And then divine intervention relinquishes its its um, hold on your life. Because now steps in free will. It's like the example you and old flame see each other and hadn't seen each other in years and now you're coming back together it, it may have been divinely orchestrated that you come back together that's what the divine did but they released the the orchestration once you came back together now it's about what do you guys will do what will, will you end again will it go far we it's up to you uh, that's free will so the outcome here in making a decision some of you something is resurfacing about love and career something somebody is resurfacing let's see yeah another six card definitely about choices in your life um some of you may make the choice to move move forward it's going to be a very positive one some of you may make the choice to have peace with Let's see what this is about. Um, some of you are leaving old, old disagreement, old habits, old argument, old drama behind. You're coming out of that. Some of you are coming out of love affairs and you're, you're choosing one person. Uh, once again, you, you got to a place of analyzing. Is this healthy? Is Where does this fit in my life? Uh, systematic behaviors. Let me see. What is the Queen of Cups? For my toys. Some of you got kind of got with this moon here. You may be having plans in the works, but you're not telling anybody. You're not really letting in on. Some of you came out of the delusion. Some of you wouldn't admit to yourself how much you love. Or like a person, but now you are Queen of Cups. Join in. So, in the event of wanting to find someone, join a group of people. So, this is not virtual, but it's old fashioned group of people group of individuals that share your same interests create creatively or if it's if it's love but share your same interests and, and it is um it's going to join it in it's going to bring you to a, a new place of a, a possibility what's the lovers what's this choice 
What is this choice in regards to? Hobbies. Definitely love and career. Like, do you put all of your energy, effort, time into maybe a hobby, a quick job, or yeah, or do you just stay where you are? Something is resurfacing. And now it's asking that you make the life altering choice. The beauty of a choice is it's not a decision. So decision is when you like. So decision is what you have to make the incision first. You got to cut in, and then with the decision, you cut away. So that other option is no longer readily available. With the choice, you're just choosing between two or more, and the others are still there for you if ever you want to double back. Wanted them to resurface. I think that's what people most say. They want to be chosen. Hmm. Choose me. I don't know. Maybe it, 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 it weighs more. Because to make the choice of a person. Out of other people. Knowing that the other people are still readily available. Um. It requires a lot of discipline. And then also, um, it's like the Six of Wands type of energy. You won. Anyway, I don't know where, why I went there, but there you are. Uh, so, mo so, Six of Swords. Motivation, seeking and finding. Somebody wants you to move. Or, or you feel like you need to move to be with someone. And you need to gain more in, or, uh, insight, knowledge of new place, new thing. Where will you work? How will this work? You need to have the motivation also to put into this new way. Some of you, your mental is cloudy with sobriety at the bottom of the day and it could be a, a situation of you know chemical substance abuse or over your misuse uh, or it could just be your mental is clouded by so many opposing positions so you need to kind of scale back maybe you listen to a lot of tarot card readings scale back on that maybe other people giving you advice but it's like it's too much you you can't gather the data some of you are analyzing is this a good move is this a good career move like you're really taking in the data like I can make X, Y, and Z money here. I make X, Y, and Z money over here already. Uh, blah, blah. You know, you're really trying to reel it all in, put it on paper, and then move forward. Yeah. Someone's asking you to stop working so many hours because you're away from... You fill in the blank. Taurus, this is your reading for the mid-August. It just, it doesn't look like, you know, love and romance is at a place of turmoil and breakdown. It looks like you have some real foundational choices to make maybe in regards to firstly yourself and then secondly maybe a significant other or others if you have family. Uh, so you I just heard somebody thinking about selling the business how much money they would get for it I don't know but Taurus you've got to do the leg work seek and find and then have the motivation to move forward um, and for some of you it'll be trying to monetize a hobby or not even it's, it's probably already monetized but it'll be trying to 
figure out some some real figures in regards to a hobby all right Taurus thank you love you if you feel like you want your own personal reading especially if you're trying to start something entrepreneurial which I love doing those types of readings um, you just want a little something just to get you some guidance uh, you can get this same type of reading the situation the advice and the outcome um, the advice here might be to, to choose the hobby here this is the choice and then you have hobbies um because there's something you don't know and it might be a lot of spiritual awareness and clarity here i don't know if you do something spiritual but anyhow um and then you need to learn more okay about going into a new position career wise and for the whole family because it's a it's a big choice um this reading is six dollars sixty six cents 666 the devil energy devil energy is about choices the devil energy just doesn't hop onto you one day and, and rides your back you have to actually make what would be deemed as the wrong choice and find yourself in the devil energy so I have um, priced the reading 666 because we want to make better choices we want to make the more enlightened choice and you have two six cards so definitely about choices for you so take advantage of that if you want to uh, if you feel moved to um, the link is below thank you Taurus take care many blessings to you bye